Are you looking for a versatile yet stunning go anywhere and do anything Rolex watch that you can wear every day? Well then say hello to the Rolex Datejust 41 with the smooth bezel. People will typically say that the classic Datejust look is a Jubilee bracelet and a fluted bezel, and I would probably agree if we are talking about the 36mm model. This configuration became an absolute staple for Rolex over the decades and is perhaps one of its most iconic and recognisable designs. But in my opinion with the 41mm case version of the Datejust anything goes. The Date Just 2, as it was known at the time, was originally released with both the fluted and smooth bezel options, and I'm pretty sure up until the release of the Date Just 41 in 2016, you could also only get it on an Oyster bracelet. But thankfully, with the release of the Date Just 41, you can now get that same configuration with a Jubilee bracelet. And in this video, I'm going to show you why you should consider the smooth bezel and Jubilee bracelet configuration of this beautiful watch. So when I was looking for a Rolex, one of the benefits of going grey was that I had the option of both the smooth bezel Datejust 41 and the fluted bezel Datejust 41, and I got to handle them both in the flesh. First of all, let me say that the fluted bezel of this 41mm Datejust just looks incredible in person. It is a very flashy watch to the point where for me it restricts its versatility a little bit. I mean if you are looking for a dress watch and you want to dazzle people a little bit and have an eye catching piece then sure what an amazing option to go for. But I would really suggest you try it on because for me when I had it on my wrist my initial reaction was wow but it is just not me. But that's because I was looking for a Rolex that I could wear every day. This is an expensive watch and it is hard to get and I'm not going to be in this circumstance too many times in the future. So I wanted something that I could wear in as many day to day scenarios as possible. So for me, looking at them side by side, the smooth bezel option made a lot more sense. Don't get me wrong though, the smooth bezel version of this watch looks incredible. It is still a dress watch and you can wear it with a suit or a shirt and it looks great. Even without the fluted bezel, this watch still has flash. That smooth bezel catches the light beautifully. The bracelet, dial and bezel glimmer in the sun during the day and dazzle under the lights on an evening. But at the same time, it doesn't look out of place on a hike, on the side of a mountain or on a beach. I've taken this watch into circumstances and adventures where to me, the fluted bezel version of this watch would look and feel out of place. This is a stainless steel watch through and through and I didn't worry about it for a second when I was scrambling up the side of this mountain to share this stunning view with it. A memory now imbued onto this Rolex watch where if it was the fluted bezel version, it would have definitely been back at the hotel, safe and sound in the safe whilst I was enjoying the view. But yet it still looks great casually, even in say shorts and a t-shirt, which is actually one of my favorite ways to wear this watch. I mean, what a vacation watch, this dial configuration especially, but the same goes for the slate dial, the blue dial in particular, or even the white dial in my opinion. The smooth bezel along with that Jubilee bracelet makes for an almost explorer and date just hybrid for me. This watch still looks great with that Oyster bracelet too, but at that point for me, in my opinion, you're getting a little close to the territory of the explorer look. And don't get me wrong, the Rolex Explorer looks incredible and I was planning on picking up the 40mm version of that watch until I saw this date just in the flesh. Now I kind of feel like I have the ruggedness of the Rolex Explorer in the case, whilst also enjoying the comfort and elegance of the Jubilee bracelet. Oh, and of course, the date window, another feature I kind of avoided in the past, but now I couldn't imagine being without. And on the subject of the bracelet, it is the most comfortable bracelet I have ever worn, again, further lending itself to daily wear. This isn't a small watch, of course, at 41 mm but it still feels light on the wrist. The bracelet is beautiful and light dances off those polished center links. I would say maybe the clasp is a little bit undersized, but that's probably what adds to the comfort factor. 
and I am guilty of becoming accustomed to the oversized Rolex Submariner clasp after owning that for several years. So my particular model of this watch is the mint green dial configuration and it is simply the most beautiful dial I have ever seen in person. I had the luxury of seeing the blue dial, the Wimbledon dial and the slate grey dial all in person. I have to say the slate dial version of this watch is very underrated, it looked fantastic but I am an absolute sucker for a green dial watch so this one was a no brainer. The beautiful sunburst effect of this dial is so eye catching and interesting. I find myself staring at this dial all too often and excited to see how it looks under different lighting conditions. Under the summer sun you have an unmistakable mint green dial that absolutely pops. Then in the shade it could almost be mistaken for the slate grey dial. And on an evening I've had people think that it's a black dial watch. This dial really adds to the fun factor of this watch and I'm really glad I picked up a model with a bit of colour. Also let's not forget that the smooth bezel version of this watch is of course cheaper both at retail and on the grey market and it's also more widely available. When speaking to my AD the smooth bezel Datrus 41 is the direction they seem to be pushing me in which led me to think that these are probably more readily available even at retail and certainly easier to get than the more popular fluted bezel option. But of course like anything there are some cons to this watch, one being that the smooth bezel is probably going to be a bit of a scratch magnet, I've kept my eye on it because I've really kind of used and abused this watch and so far it hasn't picked up any but I'm sure that will probably be an issue in the future. But one thing I can guarantee that when the time comes if you need to replace that bezel it's going to be a whole lot cheaper to replace a smooth bezel than it is with that white gold fluted bezel. Without a doubt the main place that mine has been picking up scratches is in the polished center part of the clasp. I didn't even realize how badly I'd scratched this up until I was making this video and had it under a macro lens. It was surprising because I haven't had this watch for more than a few months but still I bought this to wear every day so this is just something that you have to accept. So that's it, I just wanted to put a video together talking about how much I love this particular configuration of this date just because the fluted bezel version just seems to get so much love on YouTube. But anyway let me know down in the comments what you think of this particular configuration and whether you are team smooth bezel or you are team fluted bezel. But just FYI if I could afford it I would probably have have both. But anyway thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe if you would like to see more as this is my first video. Thank you for tuning in, see you in the next one.